I've been training Jiu Jitsu for, uh, this is the start of my seventh year, so since 2015. Um, I'm a brown belt. I train uh, with John Danaher and Gordon Ryan here in Texas at New Age Jiu Jitsu. So I met Tim um, through training Jiu Jitsu and I knew of his MMA career and kind of knew a little bit about Sheepdog, but really what got me into it the last few months was just being around all of these guys that are just kind of the best at what they do and a high level of concentration in Austin with that. And that's kind of the gateway to Sheepdog for me. The level of the instructors is really what put me at ease and the fact that they had a known system and you could see that and feel that from you know, stepping out of your vehicle onto the range. And I haven't been nervous to do something in a really long time. And I was nervous. I was full on like peak 100% first Jiu Jitsu class nervous. And I would even say times 10 because I have something that can take somebody's life um, on my hip. So I take that very seriously and I was very nervous about it. And they kind of just assured me that we would be using safe practices. They showed me that, like how to safely use the weapon and that everybody was doing that. And there was, you know, four or five instructors on the line. I probably got there about two o'clock and by four o'clock, my level of nervousness went down to just, you know, that kind of baseline of being unfamiliar with something, but not being scared of it, which was a really important thing for me to be able to overcome and I'm, I'm really glad that I stuck with it. The carbine one was on the Friday and then I did uh, the next day I did protector two which is um, a combination of grappling and uh, range work. So what we did the it was kind of the most intense self-defense um, course that I've ever seen and I've seen quite a bit at least through jujitsu. This was a course that was far more intensive. It was a really big deep dive into what grappling looks like with weapons and with someone who has real malice. What I really appreciated about the even the first day in the first grappling session was that they gave you some tools to work with and then they actually made you try and use them, which is something that I think in most self-defense courses they're skipped over because um, they don't want people to find out the reality that doing, you know, one or two hours of self-defense is just not enough when it comes to real world situation. I think that especially for women, it's important to be realistic about what you're capable of. And that's something that we covered in the course and I, I feel more comfortable with now. And since doing the course, I have wanted to now continue the weapons training with grappling. I think the part that I enjoyed the most was the feeling of overcoming the nervousness of using a weapon or handling a weapon and having a weapon on my person. I think for me being exposed to reality is a really important part of my training and a really important part of how healthy people function. And that is, you know, what I'm excited to continue my education with. And I think that's something that comes from obtaining skills like jujitsu is that you realize that you need to continue practicing and continue being exposed to um, those elements in order to develop the skill. So I think, you know, doing the rest of the courses is going to be an integral part of that and continuing the training between courses is, is also important.